All right, guys, it's another Military Monday. Today, we're reacting to the Marine Corps Body Bears, the last to let you down. This was posted about six years ago. Every Monday, I react to uh, military videos, talk about my military experience, and let's get into this. A lot of people don't really know what we do or don't really know what it entails. And when they find out, they're taken back a little bit. And uh, it, it really never crossed their mind at times. It's, it's a great job. I love it for many reasons, but it just being a, an honor and something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. You know, many times when uh, I would tell people I was a body bear, uh, many people would say, oh, man, I'm, I'm so sorry. But I, it was one of the best jobs I ever had, and it was such an honor. And uh, many people don't know how to handle it when you tell them, and many people don't know what it entails. But uh, it was a great job, and, and nobody really should feel sorry for you. Now the Marine Corps, they are very famous for their body bears being really, really big. I was actually deployed when I heard about the body bears. And uh, when I heard about the body bears, what it all was about, I was like, immediately I wanted to be one. I remember telling everybody, telling my family, telling uh, friends that I was gonna become a body bear. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe this is uh, 8th and I in Washington, D.C., downtown D.C. It's, uh, it's about three, four, uh, like three blocks away from the, the Capitol building. Um, nice little area. They have their silent drill team out there performing during the summers. Uh, this appears to be a parking garage that they're uh, doing their stuff in. Uh, that's different. Um, it's kind of cool kind of gloomy but very uh very cool it's like uh it's almost like a strongman gym so it's interesting uh, i don't know if they still do this but uh it appears this is how they used to train and uh when i got here it took me about seven months and then that's how uh it all started It's our job. Very slow, uh, very, very as well precise. As men, and to perform our job at the max at 100% for them. And so we don't do it thinking about ourselves. It's all for the family and for that uh, American hero, really. How we conduct our funerals in Arlington. It's different from. The Marine Corps and the Army, uh, if I remember correctly, has the. The most casual casualties and you know they got a, they got a lot of people who come from uh, uh come into dover and usually you know if somebody dies overseas i believe they go to uh, a base in germany and then from germany they come to the states and they uh almost always go through dover air force base and um yeah and then they'll either be brought home to their families or they'll go to arlington national cemetery and if they go to Arlington, they're going to be carried by the, uh, the Marine Corps body bears. Every other branch, I've been told time and time again. And it's truly just an honor to be a part of it. Don't take it lightly to do our job. We want to do the best that we can for every funeral um, because for a lot of people that's that's their one look on the Marine Corps that they get and we want to leave them with that lasting impression. The majority of the funerals we do are um, older Marines died of natural causes, you know, uh, World War II mm -hmm. vets and then just, just dependents, loved ones from them. Um, we still do get some active duty and uh, those are those are really 
don't want to say rough to do, but they are like, uh, they make you think about what you're doing. And they, they bring it. Yeah. Um, the active duty ones are hard uh, when they're overseas. And then it's the first time that the family is seeing their, uh, their loved one. And it's, uh, you know, they're in a casket and it's, it's a hard thing. And, uh, my first experience was a dignified transfer at Dover Air Force Base. Uh, and it was 0230 and the family was there and it was just, uh, it was rough, man. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was freezing cold rain and the family was there and it was just, um, it was something else. And then, uh, on top of that, uh, funerals where it was somebody who, you know, perhaps took their life. Um, we did have, uh, quite a few of those and those are really hard to do, man, really hard to do. But, uh, each funeral is different. Like you said, uh, many of them are retirees, uh, you know, old age, uh, natural causes. Uh, and sometimes, you know, it's a little, uh, little more harder situations, but yeah, um, it's a wide variety of, of situations. Close to home. I think everybody handles it in their own way. Um, but ultimately, we're all here for each other and to help each other through anything. Ooh, building a bear. Let's let's see. Take students six months to more than a year to meet body bear standards. If you can't lift the weight, you're gonna have to uh, train, 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 train to get there. I couldn't lift the weight when I first was drafted into the element. You know, I had a little bit more broader shoulders. Uh, I was able to pack on some weight, so uh, they took a chance on me. And uh, after about, I'd say a month of uh, weight training. I finally got to the baseline standard. And um, then it took many more months to gain more weight and get uh, get a lot better because you don't want to just be baseline. You want to uh, be up there with the rest of the guys uh, pushing each other uh, so you can carry the casket. You don't want injuries. Um, the standard was 225 for three reps uh, on the bench. And, and then as well as uh, many other things like this carry, uh, I believe it was 95 pounds for uh, 40 yards or something like that. Um, but remember, this is baseline. And then you had to get different qualifications uh, as your time being a body bear. We're also working on is there technique on carrying and doing different various funerals that we do. Bearing is one of the most important things we, we have out here. Um, out in Arlington, we don't breathe through our mm -hmm. mouths. It's all, all through the nose. nose. Mouth through the nose. Just to show no emotion and no pain, no um, physical strain whatsoever. I mean, one time I almost passed out because of it. You know, it's hot as hell out. You're wearing that ceremonial uniform. You know, I was NPB, uh, leader of the team. And, you know, we're carrying, carrying, carrying. It was a, it was a decent carry. It wasn't too, too long. But uh, it was it was very hot out. And by the time we turned in, did our steps, lowered the casket, uh, I was hyperventilating and um, I was breathing through my nose, didn't open my mouth. Uh, the family, they were fast to get to the grave site. So there wasn't any situation where I could have started breathing through my mouth. Almost passed out. Luckily, I made it. But when you're in a situation like that, your heart is pounding. You're trying to calm yourself down. Um, yeah, <laughs> it happens, man, but you have to stay sharp, crisp, motionless, emotionless. You're there for a reason, and it is not about you. It's about the service member uh, in the family. Because it's all about the family, and you don't want them to see anything other than a flawless funeral. So this is where we do everything down the LP. We have all our different training tools uh, that we use from 45 pound plates to um, the Oh, box. yep. Um, it's, uh, it's dark, dirty, it gets wet down here, it gets crazy hot and crazy cold. 
Um, yep. Uh, in our two weeks of IQ training, it was our very initial training into body bears. It would be holding 45 plates out on a wall and you're doing uh, wall sits. Um, you're carrying plates around. You're carrying caskets around as a team, doing several, several, several lap, laps, uh, throwing in weights into the casket. Uh, our casket, uh, we called it Sev, uh, S-E-V, or S-E-V. <laughs> its name was Sev, right? Uh, short for 700, right? It was, uh, you know, when once we loaded that thing up, it was about 700 pounds, and that's what we would train with. And we would do what was called uh, uh, go do an H, right? And the H was the, the shape of the squadron, and you would march around the H with the casket, lap after lap after lap so uh yeah training is intensive and it really i think uh is where we should be working um and it's been around forever every section is is trained down here and uh we're just carrying on the traditions my strength started to slowly go down within those first two months of getting here because of the shock. And really what I mean by the shock is just the different type of training they do here. You, you, you're going to get tendonitis right away. Oh, yeah, the tendonitis, man. I had, uh, I think it's called, well, tendonitis. Uh, it's also known as like tennis elbow. I would go in the gym, do one or two reps of curls, and my triceps, my elbow would be so tight. <laughs> the fat pads on the back of my elbows were so fat and drooping over my elbows. Um, it jacks you up. Uh, that initial shock is no joke. Yeah, but you, you got to go through it. You have to take care of your body. If you're not taking care of your body, it's going to be very rough, but... Uh, <laughs> Once you once you take it uh, take it slow, I mean, you don't really have time to take it slow. You you just have to make it work and uh, take care of your body, and and you'll get through it, and you'll uh, hopefully eventually meet that standard. From curling every day, you know the body's not used to doing three sets of twenty pull ups, three sets of twenty curls every day. As time went on, I I got stronger. I noticed um, changes in my strength. The tendonitis would go away after a few That's months. That's a big, bo yep. and the body just the body <laughs> adapts huge. to its environment, and it either gets stronger and breaks through those walls, or it breaks down. So, really, you have to be a strong individual to to get through it, and not just physically, but uh, emotionally too, and mentally. Mm. think about the section I'm sure I want to come back as a lot of guys do just to see hey is it is it staying are the tradition still there are the guys still big or the guy you know is everything the same and um, little things might have changed but for the most part the traditions stay alive I know one day I'm gonna look back on all this and I'm gonna be like those are the good old days and uh, it's cool to know that like I'm in them right now you know Yeah, for sure. We had a case on where uh, once we became fully qualified, we got a placard of our name on the case on a gold placard. And uh, I'm not sure what that was for them. Uh, the 500, 600, 700. I'm very curious as to what that is. Um, I hope some of the body bears would comment. Um, if they see this video, that would be really cool. Uh, I would like to hear their experiences. Uh, Navy, Marines, uh, Air Force, all of them. I would love to hear from them. Being deployed and knowing, um, like when we do active duty Marine funerals and stuff, and just knowing that they uh, were over there serving their country uh, selflessly and um, paying that ultimate sacrifice, it's really an honor to do it for them. Um, I always want to do my best for them and their family. I think the most common question I'm asked is, being a body bearer, doesn't that drain you a lot? Doesn't that, um, isn't that hard on you? And 
for me, honestly, uh, I love it. Oh, it looks it's, like they're in McClellan, I think. Everybody, but yeah, I it's something you. I take a lot of pride in, and I know everybody else in the section does. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a good video. That was a good video. Makes me emotional a little bit. Um, everybody I talk to says, you know, they miss it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good time. I miss the brotherhood and everything. Um, what a great video, man. But anyways, that was the video. Marine Corps Body Bears. Man, you guys are clean. You guys train hard. Uh, you know, I follow uh, a couple of them. I follow their Instagram page. Uh, I believe Alan Thrall. He's a big strongman guy. Uh, I believe he was a Marine Corps body bear. And man, I, I love what they do. Um, it was an honor to serve as a United States Air Force body bear. And uh, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe. And if you want to see more, leave a comment. And uh, if you want to see other things, please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around. And I hope you enjoyed this video.